This is the pull from my recent video about experimenting with swim baits on long line gear. We set the gear last video. Let's see what we caught. The gear has been soaking for five hours. We jigged after we set it. The jig bite was painfully slow. We covered a lot of water and couldn't find a bite. It's like that sometimes. Fifteen fathoms of rope to the anchor. It's a seven foot swell. Wind is picking up. Here is the anchor. Three fathoms of ground line to the hooks. Here come the hooks. No luck on first swim bait. The line is tight. We are hung up on the bottom. Here comes something, what is it? Nice link cod. Got him. Big fish of the day. We have an observer on board today. Fishery observers and at sea monitors are NOAA fisheries eyes and ears on the water. They collect data from U.S. commercial fishing and processing vessels, as well as from shoreside processing plants and receiving vessels known as motherships. Observers are professionally trained biological technicians gathering first-hand data on what's caught and discarded by U.S. commercial fishing vessels. They also track interactions with marine mammals, sea turtles, and seabirds. The high-quality data observers collect are used to monitor federal fisheries, assess fish populations, set fishing quotas, and inform sustainable fisheries management. Observers also support compliance with fishing and safety regulations. We are hung up on the bottom. 
that's tight. I have to keep tension on the rope in the hauler. If I let it slip, the hooks will shoot through my hands and towards Phil, unforgiving circle hooks grabbing and ripping everything in their path. It's safer to cleat it off and pull on it with the boat. I will speed up the footage and organize the deck while he frees up the gear. We are back in business. Wow, Monster China Rockfish. No swim bait. We broke off. We have to get it from the other end. There is still over half a tub. set him here to make sure it wasn't bleeding. It looks good. The sharp teeth of Lingcod are well suited for their predatory lifestyle. These teeth allow them to grasp and immobilize a variety of prey items, including fish, squid, crustaceans, and other smaller marine creatures. Humbug Mountain is situated within Humbug Mountain State Park, approximately six miles south of the town of Port Orford, and about 28 miles north of the California-Oregon border. It is part of the Oregon Coast Range. The name Humbug Mountain has an interesting origin. Some believe it was given by disappointed gold miners in the 1850s who did not find the riches they were seeking in the area. Another theory suggests that the name comes from an old English word hum or hump referring to the mountain's distinctive shape. The mountain rises to an elevation of approximately 1,756 feet above sea level, making it one of the tallest peaks directly adjacent to the Pacific Ocean along the Oregon coast.
here's the anchor. Here's the ground line. Here's the hooks. Hopefully the rest of this is loaded. Fish on every hook. Here comes a nice cabazon. That fish must have swallowed the hook deep. We try to keep these fish alive. Our live fishery involves capturing fish and keeping them alive until they are ready to be sold in premium seafood markets or to restaurants. The goal of live fishery is to provide customers with the freshest possible fish, enhance the quality of the product, and potentially reduce waste by reducing the time between catching and consumption. In live fishery operations, fish are often held in tanks or live wells on board fishing vessels, Here comes a nice China rockfish. It's worth eight bucks a pound live, but worth a buck or two a pound dead. We like to sell live fish. Here comes a big skate. They aren't worth much money. They waste all your ice and aren't worth dealing with. Go, we release them. Just toss them here. It's a big boy. Yeah. There's a China rockfish. No swim bait. Blue rockfish. Bit on squid. Most of the hooks have been empty here. No bait left. They need a crab. Nice china. A bit on squid. Cabazon. 
I love cabbies. It's awesome fish. They bit on squid. Blue rockfish. They bit on squid. China rockfish. They have to be 12 inches to keep. It looks small. Rockfish have air bladders. The air expands at the surface. I release the air so it can swim down. Data collected. Released. This is the tub that broke. This tub had the majority of the swim baits on it. It broke where they were at. It messed up the experiment. I saw enough to make me want to experiment more. I think setting a tub back loaded down with swim baits would be fast and easy. They love the crabs. We have been baiting for our next trip. I have been making tubs with a wide variety of swim baits on every boat. Two nice chinas. Here comes a blue. Another blue. That blue has a crab stuck in its mouth. Nice. That cabby swallowed a crab. That's it. We got the gear back.
This tub has been repaired. It has a nice variety of swim baits on every hook with a delicious piece of squid. It's sitting in the freezer ready to fish. 